Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, today, Microsoft, well, this weekend, Microsoft announced that Windows 10 version 21H2 is now ready for broad deployment. So what does that mean? That means that every PC, pretty much, unless you have this very unique thing that is preventing you from seeing it, should see 21H2 for Windows 10 appear in the Windows updates. So um, it's a bit particularly important for those on 20H2 since next month is the last update. Once again, for people that think that, well, you know, it's good until 2025, 20H2 is completely end of support. No more updates, no security updates starting next month after Patch Tuesday. It You have to move on to another version of Windows 10. That's the way it works. So 21H2 is the latest version, and that one is now available for everybody, apparently. So check it out. It would appear in your Windows updates. Simply go to your settings and go into update and security. It will be on 20H2. You should see it appear pretty much in force update to 21H2. But on 21H1, you should see it as an optional update that will be here. And they're going to say that a new version is available. Uh, it also kind of says that, uh, you know, it's running pretty well and that um, the upgrade process is going well. They've pretty much uh, tweaked everything that they needed to tweak on it. So once you're up to date, you'll be like this at version 21H2, build 19044.1645, which is the latest version right now uh, with all the updates. So broad deployment, um, if you didn't see it before, because I've got some people that said they couldn't see it, well, check out your Windows updates. It might be there now because of the uh, broad deployment that Microsoft is now doing with 21H2. Once again, don't mix up 21H2. This is not a version of Windows because a lot of people think 21H2 is a Windows 11. It's only when it's released, the second half of 2021, like Windows 11 was the second half of 2021. That's why Windows 10 and Windows 11 share version 21H2. And there, where it's different is the build number. Windows 11 is build 22,000. Windows 10 is build 19044. So broad deployment, and of course we're moving ahead as we're going to um, get uh, 22H2 eventually this year for Windows 10. Um, this is something that is going to be interesting to see when that actually happens. Um, not a lot of you know noise of of of, of anything. Um, you know it wouldn't happen and it would be the same, but. We know that Microsoft did say 22H2 will be happening for Windows 10, but the fact that we pretty much don't hear anything about it probably tells us that it's a very, very small update. So check it out. 21H2 is now available. It's pretty stable and pretty good, so if you want to move on, I think it's pretty safe as it doesn't really do much more than what 21H1 has. There's just a couple of very minor uh, features that were added and by doing the so, you will be okay until um, early. Well, you'll be okay for about a year. So by having 21H2 now, you won't have to update to a next version of Windows 10 before uh, May of 2023. So that's uh, something to check out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.